Hey guys, me, host Super Sonic. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. This is NECA's Freddy New Nightmare. So I got this from Strange World Collectibles. They did send this to us free of charge for review purposes. So thank you very much to Strange World Collectibles for hooking us up with this awesome Freddy. I will be featuring it as a part of my 31 uh, Days of Horror, day, or 31 Days of Halloween, as a part of my f uh, photography over on Instagram. So if you're not following Instagram, leave, there's a link in the descriptions. Check them out. There's also a link in the descriptions. Check out Strange World Collectibles. They're a great online store where you can buy all your geeky needs and goodies so guys, without further ado, this is Freddy Krueger's art, well, Wes Craven's new nightmare, uh, the Freddy Krueger film that was uh, from, god, 1990-something, um, and it's from New Line Cinema, and basically, Freddy in this one comes into the real world, and he's, he's actually hunting down Heather Langenkamp, who played Nancy in the films, and her son. Uh, very interesting story. Uh, it was one of my favourites growing up, but as now I've rewatched it because I rewatched it last night in preparation for this review, and it hasn't aged well. <laughs> although, although uh, Ed Langham looked pretty good in that movie. It's one of the films that I'm, I've watched a couple of times, but never like overly watched. Uh, but I do like this version of Freddy. Freddy in that movie seemed a lot more evil. It didn't feel like Robert England playing him. It felt like a, da a darker Freddy, which is what the whole, which is what the whole concept of this was. It was meant to be a darker, evil, a spirited version of Freddy that Robert England, you know, couldn't control. So I really like this film as well because obviously in the film it's basically the story of Hansel and Gretel, technically. Um, and the kid reads that book during the during the course of the movie and you know Heather, Heather says to him do you really want to read this this is quite violent and he says you need to re I need you to finish the story mum it's important and obviously we find out about how, he, how his mum finds him in the end which is using the breadcrumbs he uses sleeping pills as a way for Nancy to catch up with him so she can take the pill start falling asleep and drop into the dream world with him because don't forget in Freddy's world you can go into other people's dreams and things like that. It, yeah. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. I'm tempted to watch Dream Warriors this afternoon now as well. I'm quite... I'm on a Freddy kick at the minute. So this is a perfect review to do today. So guys, I'm going to break him out of this packaging because I want him out of this clamshell. I want to play with him. In this film as well, he donned a new look. He had sort of like leather trousers on with big, big like boots. And... He also had a slightly different hat and this really awesome jacket. And if I remember rightly, that was the only time he wore the outfit. Through the rest of the, of the Nightmare series, he wore his traditional Freddy outfit. <clears throat> the clamshell keeps snapping. slice my finger. So there's the card art that comes with this one. I'm just going to shut that blind because oh my god. <laughs> I'm being blinded. Blinded by the lights! That's better. Whew, I can see. So uh, here's the Wes Craven's New Nightmare sort of photo. Um, he's got Rex there as well, the teddy bear, which is what the kid uses to, pr to protect himself. And he's sporting his new glove there as well. It's not really a glove in that film. In that film, it felt more like it was a part of Freddy. Didn't feel like a separate thing. All right, this is cool. So he does come with an alternate head as well, which I don't remember in the film. Which, and I watched the film last night. Jacket. Okay, we need some scissors to free the Freddy. Freddy, 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 Freddy. Freddy. I'm always scared about doing these ones because they're cloth. So I'm always frightened of nicking them. There we go. 
If you've got the time, listen to this and bust a rhyme. Yes, this Freddy was slightly different to all the other Freddies because of his outfit. Freddy usually just had, if I remember rightly, it was just like brown brown trousers in the original films. I wish they gave. I wish in these collectibles they gave us clamshells that you could re reopen and reclose and stuff. I hate the fact we have to break them up. Right. So here is free. Come here, <laughs> come here, Nancy. <laughs> I really like the look of this Freddy. That face on him as well is really good. He's really detailed. I like that a lot. So he's got nice, the nice jumper on as well. I love the jumper. That is so Freddy. Let me just double check where the joints are for the arms. Always double check. There we go. That, that, this one's twisted, you see. Look. See, if I had started twisting that, I would have broken it. So always double check these uh, clothed figures before you start bending them. Okay, so that's one. And there's two. Okay, so the head is on a ball joint, so you can't make him look up and down, left and right. They do lift up that top hinge and also rotate. There's obviously the bicep that also rotates, and hands are on ball joints. You can. There's no crunch on these ones, as far as I'm aware. If I lift up the jumper, yeah, there's no crunch on there, but apparently, Freddy works out! <laughs> um, so there's no crunch or anything, there is a waist swivel. Um, the legs do lift out, but I wouldn't want to go too far with that because of these leather trousers. Wouldn't want to rip them. Um, although we can move it forwards, backwards. No top thigh cut, but there is a single hinge knee there. It feels like I can't get to the knees to look. And the feet are on uh, just back and forth rockers, no pivot or anything. Not that I can see anyway. So his head does pop off as well. And we can put on this alternate demon looking head. Which like I said, I don't actually remember from the film. And I watched the movie last night, so I'm quite confused by that. Was this something to do with one of the dream sequences then? I can't remember. But there's like the alternate head that it comes with. Not too, not not too fond of the alternate. Ugh. It doesn't like coming on and off either. We'll stick with regular Fred. Yeah, it's a bit loose now that head. Now we've taken it on and off. No, we're gonna stick to regular Fred with the hat. I think that's the right way around. Free. That was really cool. That hat's really awesome. And as well, he does actually have his uh, pro proper jacket as well, which has got the Freddy stripes on the inside, which you which you saw him wear in the movie, which was pretty cool. Um, to get that on, can we take the hands off these? You can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, the balls are joint bit don't come off. The hands just pull off, but uh, nah, I wouldn't. I don't think that's officially meant to come off, to be honest. Push that back on. <laughs> yeah, that's click, click back on, so we're all good. But yeah, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go pulling that on off very often. How are we gonna get that claw in? I'm intrigued as to how we're meant to get the jacket on. Hmm.
There we go. I can get the entire peg to come out, which does make it easier. But it is very delicate. I wouldn't want to do this very often. It would be easier to take the hands off and you can shove the stumps down the jacket and put the jacket on to give him the jacket. But I don't think I'm ever going to use the jacket with this fig. So I'm going to leave it. So let's go ahead and just pop the little... Claw back in. Yeah, this is why I wouldn't want to pop that glory in out too often. It's just not. There's no. There's no pop or click. I'm not sure if the hands are even meant to come off. Uh, but you can get the peg out, but I wouldn't want to do that too regular because you're going to make it really loose. And it's just going to fall out all the time. And it'll be a pain. So. <clears throat> Personally, I'm going to stick to. This version of Freddy, which I like, which is the classic Freddy anyway. Let, let's be honest, we've just got the new Nightmare Claw on it. See that other hand's going to keep popping off now. There we go. Come here, Nancy. <laughs> I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Right guys, let's go on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close first look at Freddy. Alright guys, here is Freddy out of the packaging. He is awesome. Look at that face sculpt. It's so good. I'll take that off in a moment, you can see it probably. But when you look at it like that, it just looks so cool. Yeah, I, I really don't think I want to be using that jacket too regular, like I've been saying. I don't, I don't like the way the hands come on and off. It feels very like they're going to snap quite easily. So that's a, that's a down from NECA is that. But it does come with the jacket, should you want to use it. Um, personally, I like just the regular Fred. That's how they've used him on the back anyway. That's how they've kind of showed him off with just the jet, the, the jumper. And for 90% of the movie, he is just like this. He wears this jacket when it's in the... Um, when he's looking, he's killing the babysitter. And it's in the... the, the what do you call it scene? The... Um, oh, God, the hospital scene. Couldn't think of the love of money. In the hospital scene. And he basically drags her across the roof, very similar to how he kills one of the the boyfriends in the movies. But yeah, very cool, uh, very cool concept. Um as we see on the back there, there is a little bit of a write-up which does state a demonic force has chosen Freddy Krueger as its portal to the real world. Can Heather Langenkamp play the part of Nancy one last time and trap the evil trying to enter our world? See, I never got that it was meant to be sort of like a, a demon that's using Freddy. I just thought it was Freddy who'd become so horrifying and so scary that he'd basically crossed into our world and became real. That's how I kind of always saw this film. Never saw it that it was a demon using Freddy as a portal. I assumed it just was Freddy. <laughs> But I do like the concept of the Hansel and Gretel story being used in it as well. Gives it a bit of grounding and stuff. I love that. And that claw as well. Very nicely detailed. Lovely paint apps on this figure. I've not found any warping issues or anything. It's very detailed. And there's that face sculpt underneath that hat. Which again is very cool. Much cooler with the hat on though. Gotta love Freddy's hat. Yeah, and then the, these, these little ball joints in the hands, if I can get the camera to focus, they are a little bit of a pain. I managed to pull mine apart here rather than at the actual joint, but it's it's come back together no problem. But yeah, the, the little peg that runs through the middle is technically broken. But that was my fault. <laughs> um, the other one, I managed to round it, like keep twisting it until eventually the peg popped out. But I, like I said, I wouldn't want to do that too regularly. It didn't feel right popping it out. And like I said, trying to pull the peg on this hand just broke the hand itself. So really reluctant to be doing that, to be just put, just to put a jacket on that I'm never going to use. 
I like this one far too much, the way it looks now. But my nostalgic feeling for this film is because it's one of the first Freddy's I watched as a kid. It was one of my first introductions to Freddy. Um, because it was obviously, I, I am a child of the 90s. And this is one of the, the later films that was, well, last film that came out, wasn't it, before Freddy vs. Jason? And I just remember it. I remember it so well being on like TV and stuff like that. I mean, on the, on the uh, Sky Movie channels as I was growing up. So I watched it several times and then it was my dad that basically told me to go watch A Nightmare on Elm Street. So that was my introduction to Robert England's Freddy. And I've never looked back, bitch. <laughs> Freddy's such a cool, cool character and definitely needed this Halloween. So I will be taking some horror photography with him very soon. So make sure you had you, you add us on Instagram at SuperSorrel. But guys, let's go back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this Freddy? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And make sure you check out Strange World Collectibles. They, hook, they hooked us up with this awesome Freddy. So thank you very much to them for hooking us up. If you want to grab one of these, you can grab it now I'm over on Strange World, Strange World Collectibles, where you need, where you can find all your uh, geeky action needs on their website. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!